you guys do in case of a fire? I usually run. We have an evacuation spot out the corner. Okay, that's great, but what if you're on fire? At Pete's Parts. And we're here with Jen Pete. She is the warehouse manager. Yes, I am. You filled out the form online. Mm -hmm. You wanted to come by and play a little prank on who? Chris and Zach. Oh, yeah? What do they do mm -hmm. here? They work in the warehouse. So you're their manager. You tell them what to do, huh? Mm hmm. Well, today, oh, yeah. Boss Man's going to tell him what to do because he's from OSHA. Or as he likes to say, he's from Ocean. <laughs> All right? At the end of that, then we're going to give them a little bit of cash. We got a total of $100 for each Ooh. of them. These videos are brought to you by Conequip Parts. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, Big Al? I'm ready, boss. <laughs> hey, guys. This is Boss Man from OSHA. He's just going to go over some warehouse things with you. Hey, guys. How you doing? Sorry, sorry to interrupt your day. You know, I'm trying to get some work done there. I know you're trying to get this warehouse, you know, in tip-top shape. I understand like that. You know, right away when I walk in here, okay, great place. Looks real nice, real clean. It's going to sound strange, but the paint scheme. OSHA wants all warehouses to have a lighter, brighter paint scheme, like a yellow, like a yellow or a, like a, maybe even a pink. All right. Pink. Apparently, what they believe is that the lighter colors make for like lighter spirited people working in the warehouse. You got a good warehouse here, Jen, okay? Mm -hmm. But these guys have got to be cognizant of a few things. The safety issue that I'm noticing right away is the space in between the pallets, okay? I mean, I can barely walk between these pallets right here, all right? Try to come in, try, try walking. Go ahead, uh, Carter, right? Chris. Chris. Walk, walk through this thing here. Tell me how easy that is. Okay, look at that. I tripped already. Zach, you didn't walk through here. We, we, we don't walk through here. You're gonna have. We well, don't have space to walk through. I, I okay. My forklift comes in. Here. Honestly, That's think it. about yeah. this stuff. They move them out somewhere else. I understand That's it. what no you're thinking. What if there's an emergency, right? What if all of a sudden you got? Well, let's just say you're down here. Hey, Miss Jen, get right yep. down, down there in the middle. Sure. Okay. Right there. Okay. 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 Okay, a crazy man with a knife is running through the door. You gotta run. Go run fast. Where You're am gonna I trip, gonna right? Go. Okay, see, that's what's gonna happen is if you don't have space in between these pallets and there's an emergency of some sort, tornado zone. Do you guys have a tornado zone anywhere in this warehouse? We don't have tornadoes. You never know. We don't have there was a, there was a tornado back in 1947. 1947. 1947. So it can happen. You have to have it so you don't have a tornado zone in here, right? Think okay. Do. So if you, until you have a tornado zone, you're going to have to have a place where you can hunker down in case a tornado comes through here. Hunker down, guys. Hunker down. Like, like this. You get down. Hunker down. Hunker down. Hunker down. Very good. Down. Okay. You guys got it. What I need though, Miss Jen. Yes. And Corey and Zach. Zach is you're gonna have to get you're gonna have to get one of those big bathtubs for the tornado for, what? for the bathtub? tornado you have to have a bathtub because that's the that is the absolutely the most that's for the what? most effective way to protect yourself from a tornado a bathtub, a bathtub. A bathtub. and you get into the bathtub and Not since there's two big guys bathtub. i would suggest you get a big bathtub the shelves not high enough okay Perfect. No, this no. This cool. stuff is heavy, like, man. Grab oh, it off no, 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 no. OSHA it regulations wants it four feet. feet. What if a person is like what if? four feet, two inches tall, and he tries to walk under here? You know He's going to bang his head. So what do you do when you're picking something up to make sure you're safe? How do you pick something up that's heavy? Bend with the knees. You don't lift with your knees. I'm telling you why, because I had a cousin, Louie. He blew his knees out. Straight out the side. Something. Okay, we're going to pick something up here. All right? Let's uh, let's pick up a final drive. Go ahead, pick it up. Oh, I'll pick that up. Yes, pick that up. Yeah, with a forklift, I'll pick it up. Try it. Pick it up, jerky. You get under there. Remember, yes. pick up the back and pull, pull, baby, pull. There you go. There you go. You make me happy. You make the people at Ocean happy. Very good, guys. And finally, a fire. What do you guys do in case of a fire? We have an evacuation spot out. The okay, that's great. But what if you're on fire? I think it's stop, drop, and roll. Yeah. Stop, drop, and roll. They've amended that. Oh. It's now scream, stop, drop, and roll because 
you need to have somebody understand and know that you're on fire. Yeah. I can see that. And finally, what do you do if you get pranked? Come on. Come on. <laughs> There's a camera right there. There's a camera right there. <laughs> There's a camera right up there. <laughs> Jen set you up here. She does. She's, she's in on it. Not only did we prank you guys, but we wanted to make sure that you had a fun day beyond just being pranked. And so we brought a little gift for you guys. $100 each for being part of this. This is uh, really because Jen thinks you guys are great workers and she wanted to show her appreciation. So there's 100 there. So that's Boss Man YouTube. I hope you guys don't mind being on it. Now get the paint in the walls and install that bathtub. Yeah. <laughs>